All right, welcome to speed. I, uh, I've installed some more mods. They might be a little bit on the, uh, strong side. But I don't care. Uh, so now I've got the faster mining mod. Mining doesn't suck. Which is really nice. Am I still Sonic? Oh, of course I'm still Sonic. Why wouldn't I be? Alright, um... Hmm. What do we want to do? I should probably get some more storage mediums down here. Can I... Yeah, I can get a bunch of these. What I really want to do is work on this base, though. But what I really want to do... Uh-oh. Oh, there he is. Okay, factories infest this place. Worlds upon worlds spitting out resources for no purpose. Yet you're attacked by sentinels for obliterating a single rock? It's outrageous. It makes me sick. The overseer is right. I'm attacked by sentinels for mining small quantities of resources when a factory... Com when factory complexes operate with impunity. Why? Why do they ignore such greed? When I must fight for mere survival. Agree this is unju unjust. It is good to see your anger. Ask yourself, why do the Sentinels get to choose who suffers? Who gives them this power? Okay. Uh, so that was it. So what do we, what do we actually need for progression here? Whoops. There we go. So weapons, research, destroy the depots, return to the scientists. Copyright flowers. So let's let's see about that first. I'm gonna kind of ping pong between this tonight. I think while we do um, multiplayer it's farming, I actually really wish you could uh, you could manually. Okay, so I need I need copyright itself. Um, hmm. maintenance. We don't have anything in this. I'll just let that go. Eventually, I'd like to get a whole, like, minor factory of my own. It'd be really nice if you could actually hook them up to storage mediums and, like, kind of factorio this game a little bit. Okay. But yeah, Gemroth, let me know if, uh, let me know if shit breaks, because I'd love to, uh, I'd love to... Oh, phosphorus actually can be used for this. I'd love to actually fix my, uh, my mod setup before my friends join. But I guess you might have already installed your, uh, the mods yourself. We'll see. Okay. Uh, I guess let's go back to the scientist. And we'll figure out where to get some copyright from. Isn't it wonderful, Traveler? To be us again, a hue, praise the new AI. I use the term artificial, but scholar entity Afanovan corrects me. They tell me all intelligence is artificial. All bodies mere shells for something greater. The Gorvak's body is merely a shell, a carapace for their souls, a network core of many intelligences. Oh, right. I've got to actually pick the mission. Let's see, so no joining tonight because of multi? Uh, yeah, probably. I mean, you guys can join now if you want to, but... Uh... Huh. What? This is my base. Maybe I need to, like, leave and come back or something. It sounds like there's some problems. Okay. Ultimate Foe Terminus. I... I think this is the Ultimate Foe System. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I don't know when my friends are going to be joining me. It'd be nice if you could actually raise the player cap. I'd, I'd love to actually have more people involved, but... Okay. Doesn't look like I've got anything else, so let's see if I can just go back to that base. I think I just needed to properly, uh... Relearn. Oh. Crash Town? Current system? Oh. Is it doing that stupid thing again? Where it's forgotten which base is mine? Because it, it's currently telling me to head for Crash Town, which does not have a base at it. Unless it's suddenly generated a, uh... Unless it's it's suddenly randomly generated a, a scientist. 
I guess what I could do is actually just put the scientists on the freighter. Thank thanks, game. Real helpful. Okay, where do you think it is now? Doesn't think it's a creep town. Yeah, it, it thinks it's in the current system. Uh, you know, that might actually be the, uh, the easiest and best option. Let's go back to, uh... Let's go back to creep town and tear up the, uh, tear up the modules. It might actually just be best to put them on my freighter until some of these bugs fixes, fix themselves. Because I think the freighter takes priority. But I could be wrong. But at least this way they'll all be in the exact same uh, location. Hopefully. Oh, I guess we might as well have the uh, base computer archives. Okay, data recovered. Search archives. Entry follows. The Sentinel drones. Patrols never seem to end. I claimed just so much from the Earth. Additional data available. Construction logs. Okay. And it's just more exosuit data. I really wish you'd actually get, uh... I really wish this thing actually gave us more for the, uh, blueprint analyzer to work with. It's kind of a shame they don't. But oh well. Okay, so I'm gonna try talking to this guy, but I get the feeling it's, it's still bugged out on me. Okay, yeah, so this this ain't working. Ah, get out of here. I think I'm gonna just delete a lot of them and, and move. Yeah, because if you notice, none of the uh, inventory is full. So we do actually get resources back from uh, tearing these up. Let's see. I'll get rid of that. I can always make more freely. Um, but yeah, we ran into a bug where they despawned, and so I can kind of respawn them at their at their proper locations, but it doesn't agree with me, and that's more of a problem. Okay, so we're just going to install this there. It, solar panel power one percent. Yeah, hard pass. Layer inside object. No, I'm not. It also might think the Gemroth's in the area, which is kind of confusing. Okay. Yeah, Gemroth. Destination reached. That's weird. So, Gemroth, are you actually here, or... Oh, yeah, there you are. Hello. Hello. Uh, let's see. So, we want to summon my freighter in. You know, in retrospect, it'd actually be really cool to build these up on the freighter. Maybe let's do that, too. I don't like... I don't necessarily like going back to my freighter, because I don't think I can build a portal on them. But it might just be a good idea to have much of my base stuff mobile for now. Look at that fleet of mine. That's really cool. I wish you could actually, uh... I wish you could actually, like, send them on... Well... I, you can send them on missions. Speaking of, I should see if they went on a mission. No, they were bugged out the last time I tried. Uh, they thought they current, had a current mission, and that was a lie. Okay. Blurp. Blurp. Hello. Okay, debrief commander. So they did have a mission. It was just... oh. Well, that was weird. They did have a mission. It doesn't look like it, any of them took damage, but it could be wrong. Okay. So, what can we do? Balanced Expedition, Voyage Discovery, Industrial... Let's do a, a balanced... We've got a... we've got a nice... set of ships for this. Two decent industrial ships. Um... I don't know what the dots mean, either. 
Oh, does that mean it's it's damaged? Might be. Okay, so industrial trade combat. I guess we'll bring this guy along because he's got a good ex uh, exploration stat. Yeah, some more industrial missions would be kind of nice. Sadly, no dice. I guess we'll bring him along. 250 tons. Oh. Two hundred tons. How much fuel do I have? Clearly not enough. Oh, that's why. We lost all of our we lost all of our fuel. When uh when I got the new freighter, we lost all of our available fuel. Okay, so what are we missing? Um need more tritium. Okay, I'll work on that later. Okay, dots are good or bad buffs the ships have when you buy them. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Let's see, I've got one industrial... To trade combat. I guess we'll just bring him along. It'll be fine. Alright, and off they go. I mean, they more or less pay for it. It'd be nice if you could actually set them out on, like, mining missions and stuff. I'd really appreciate that. Alright, so I need silver and tritium before I can do anything else. So let's go work on that. It'd be nice if you could actually, like, yeah, like I said, whoa, that was weird. Uh, it'd be nice if you could send your your ships out on like mining missions and stuff even for just space minerals Just like put them in a system and they'll just like slowly absorb resources from the surrounding area He's hitting me Actually, not sure. What? Am I shooting? I'm shooting myself. You are effectively hitting yourself due to net network issues. What? Um... Jamroth, Clef, I might have to... back out of this session or something, because that's... Man, what are you even supposed to do about that? It, that would explain some of the issues we're running into. Uh, actually, no. Before I do that, let's let's see if there's a uh, let's see if we've got an alternative I could work with. Let's let's head over here to the space station. Whoa, boy! Uh, let's see if I can buy any tritium or silver or whatever. Cause I honestly hate uh fighting all of those anyway. Let's see. Any plans on playing Banner Saga 3? Uh, that's actually going to be a YouTube-only series. Uh, last time I tried streaming it, I lost like 80 people in about, geez, half an hour. And that's, that's kind of tough. And honestly, it's, that's actually a game where I can like, stop and think about, uh, or where I want to stop and think about stuff. And so it's kind of tough to... Oh, let's see if we can buy any copyright from any of this. Decommissioned circuit board. Dirt. Huh. 
So it looks like that trade thing actually really is making a massive difference here. Hmm. Well, there's gold. This is going to be expensive. I don't see any silver, though. But yeah, some of these are like trade goods that I could potentially sell for like a bunch of money. The semiconductors might not be a bad idea. Main thing is I'd have to find a place. Yeah, there's also like welding soap and ion capacitors, but they're not worth much. Quantum accelerators. I might be able to buy these as well. Do we test it? Let's see. Aren't tech modules valuable? Yeah, they are. Okay, so... Let's just, um... I'm just gonna buy one of these. And one of these. And we're gonna, we're gonna go to a different system. Oh, unfortunately, there's no easy way that I can just pull up, uh... Locations. Okay, so what... What system am I currently in? I'm currently in Lucinaire. Oh, right. This one has... Uh, Pyro didn't name this one. He just uploaded the planet. Which makes it harder for me to remember. Let's see, Durf is joining. Uh, I want you to leave. Now nah, you guys can leave once, um... Uh, uh, you guys, you guys should leave probably when my, when all of my friends are available to join. And thank you, Orion, for giving Aurelium the sub. And just in general, giving, uh, gifting subs to people. That's very nice of you. Okay. Because I, what I want to do is find a place that effectively... Okay, so they sell enriched carbon for cheap. Yeah, so we, we can actually do some uh, trading here. Cryo pumps to some degree. Semiconductors, no. Okay, so th this place also has a high... quantity of some of those. Hoping I can find some tritium in one of these. And thank you, Ilanegra, for the uh, seven months sub. Okay, maybe Wanderer's best bot terminus. Whoop! Hi. Uh, sure. Uh, one of the one of these has got to have, uh, effectively, will buy tech modules for high amounts of money. Because if we can actually, if we can do some interstellar day trading with this mod, I would not mind. Uh, spending some time doing that. Okay. Well, they sell tritium for, like, nothing. Okay. A number of these places sell cryo pumps really cheap. This place buys tech modules for 40% extra. And they will buy the quantum accelerator for twice the price. Okay, so this is Wanderbot is best bot. Okay, so we're going to go back to Elon Negra. Was it? No, not Elon Negra, sorry. Um, Lucinaire. Hi. Hi, Darf. How go? I'm in your game. Good. I'm guessing we're, 
we're doing No Man's Sky. I'm assuming so. I could okay. I could use kind of the, the chill day. Or maybe, per se, I'm just afraid Dark Souls is going to kick our ass like crazy. Oh. Do I have to turn off my mic? Can I mute myself? Uh. Voice chat off. There we go. I think I fixed it. Yeah, well, I, I'm on a, I, I'm on I've a planet had that I don't recognize. Okay, um, so... Oh, you, did you join my game? Yes, also my character uh, doesn't look anything like I set him to, I think. Uh... I loaded the my, my save, but I guess it, uh... It gets Hello. a bit funky sometimes. Uh, is that bird that just joined us? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I would have uh, been here earlier, but I was fucking around. That's fine. Uh, so really, Durf, what you're gonna want to do is probably back out and join Birds, Birds World instead. Okay. Uh, because I am. Um, uh, you effectively joined okay. me where I am, and that's uh. That's Way why you're in an ahead. unfamiliar place, because I'm elsewhere. I am in a very different location. Oh, no, no I, gotta, I gotta wait for Bird. Uh, uh, I'll be here in a second. I was just uh, checking my 401k balance. Uh, I got boring at some point. Uh, Did you just say you got adult. boring at some point? Uh, I mean, you can always insult me and say I was always boring. Okay, I guess they're not going to. Well, I appreciate that. But that is what <laughs> I said, know. is that I got Borg at some point. Because I was, like, looking at my 401k balance before streaming. Which is boring. Before yeah, I was kind of wondering why you would do that. I needed, I hadn't looked at it yet today. You look at it every day? Yep. Well, isn't it... Isn't it just going to be uh, what it is every day? Like, what... Looking at it's not going to change anything. I know. I look at it because I can't believe it's there. I'm like, oh wow, <laughs> this thing still exists. Uh, huh. I did the adult. That's weird. Steam's right. updating. I'll have the server up shortly. Uh, you don't have to update No Man's Sky? Possibly the game must update too, I don't know. But Steam is taking a while to boot up. Okay. I'll let you know. Oh, slow. I don't know. It's fine. I am, uh, I am in the process of attempting to make a lot of money. In-game money or real Boo. money? In -game, IRL in -game money. money. Oh. No. Well, dude, effectively, everything I do in, in life is an attempt to make money. Just by existing, kind of. Yeah, that's how it goes. That seems sad. That well, seems American. That seems like a running on the treadmill kind of thing. That's yep. YouTube and That's... Twitch for you. <laughs> like, pretty much everything is. This is just what happens when you graduate from college. Is like, yeah. your next goal becomes acquire as much money as possible. So that when it's you're also old, what happens when you uh, don't even go to college. Also true. And if you're like me, you're running on like five different treadmills at once, and it's a uh, pain in the fucking ass. Yeah. Hey, now Steam's done uploading. All Hello. I had to do was uh, close it and reopen it. I 
<laughs> so what's Keith up to? Is he just running the tutorial on his own right now? Uh, I have no idea, actually. I don't even see him playing, uh... He's in, he's in the other recording room. We just need to pop down and say hello. Well, he's got his mic muted, so he's probably just, uh, getting everything together. I'm not really sure. Bird, bird went down. I'm gonna go down, too. Oh, that's a lot of money. Whee! Okay, so, new goal. I like this mod a lot. Effectively, look for something that's really cheap in every space station I go to. Buy it, and then find a, a connecting space station that'll buy it for shit tons of money. How much was that? Eh, call it. Oh. I guess I have one more here. In my own inventory that I can sell. I guess next up... Uh, tech modules, actually. They sell for 40% extra here. Is there anything else that sells for, like, stupid high? Ion capacitors. I don't know if ion capacitors are worth much, though. Decommissioned circuit boards. Welding soap. I guess I could actually write this down. Do I have a... I have this. I hate these. <sighs> See, wonder are you gonna play the new updates for Endless Space 2? Yes! Oh god, that's tomorrow, isn't it? Oh god. Yeah. Uh we're gonna we're we're gonna do an Endless Legend and Endless Space series simultaneously starting tomorrow. Unless they're already available. I don't know. Anyway, let's go join them. So usually So usually I'm uh, pretty compliant when people tell me to like act a certain way or do a certain something. But when people tell me to stop acting like a flamingo, that's when I put my foot down. How do flamingos act? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> you, you have to remember, Keith, <laughs> Keith had his sense of humor surgically removed, and generally just repla uh, replaced uh, with bitterness. So... Uh, Keith, just, they they just, stand with one foot in the air. Yeah, pun puns fly right over his head, just like oh. the flamingo. Is yeah, standing when I said, with one foot in the air like a euphemism for being lazy or something? No, no, it's not. <laughs> Flamingos, they just stand with one foot in the air. That's just what they do. And when people tell me to stop acting like a flamingo, that's when I put my foot down. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> there we it go. Was one See, I was giving you respect. <laughs> and you uh, proved that wrong. <laughs> You're like, no, didn't. don't don't go thinking about things. Just, it's just the worst. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'm like, this must be like a turn of phrase of some sort, or like a metaphor. <laughs> Come on, yeah. Keith. You've been around him. He's been dad joking hard for he like. He hasn't done them for like two weeks for me. There wasn't, like, no sign so, of... Yeah. His jokes didn't show up a single time during Rend, at least. I've had time didn't to they? forget. Huh. Oh. No, no. Rend, Rend was kind of a uh, uh, a lull period because we were switching back and forth between abject frustration at trying to figure out the game and getting killed by pigs, and then Bird... I actually liked Rend. I kind of did. So... Rend is one of those that I'm actually really looking forward to uh, playing a year, two years from now. But until then, Hon eh. Honestly, my issue is just I think I'm most inclined to play it the men way it's meant to be played. I'm not just like because I hate... The incentive structures don't exist, and then it's not a video game, kind of. I'm not as interested just because people on the internet are kind of awful. Yeah, but on some level it's like, it's almost like playing Smash Brothers and saying don't kill anybody. Like, it's, <laughs> it's the mode the game's made for, and if you just, if you're like, I'm gonna do a sandbox, like it's Gary's mod, and then it's like, it's just a sandbox? Where you, where nothing happens and nothing goes anywhere. Bird! Server's almost up. Bird, you've been quiet, bird. How are you doing, bird? Oh, maybe I'm I need good. to be online on Steam.
Loading also, skaters. did you guys know that uh, booby trap spelled backwards is party boob? Yes. Yes, we no, do, Derf. Congratulations, you've cracked. You've cracked it's the code. It's not though. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. No, never mind. <laughs> oh man. I don't know why that sounded so wrong. <laughs> it's uh, it's definitely unexpected. No, I've literally heard that exact phrase before. So like, it's already like familiar dumb joke. But then I, I, I ran the math and it didn't check out. <laughs> Multi, but I'm multitasking. Uh, it was just bad math. <laughs> Alright, uh, my game is up and running. You ought to be able to join. Awesome. Ah, okay. I will start streaming and start recording thusly. There's, there's normal mode and survival mode? Yeah, you do uh, not want to do survival mode. It just makes the game more grindy. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Update required. What does that mean? I should probably uh -oh. just make a new thing, right? Um. Well, if you already have a, a save, why not? No, you don't. You don't want to do that. Okay. Uh. So. I don't want to make a new thing. You, you do want to make a new thing. You okay. do not want to play your old save. Uh. It gets very confusing. Yeah, I, when, I, when I said update required, it's that your old save says update required on it, which is a uh, thing. Also, none of the menus I'm navigating you. right now yeah. existed last time I played this game, including the save menu. <laughs> so this is a trip. <laughs> I think you should probably play the tutorial again. The choice between, like, make a character or join, like, host versus join and the server list and... Oh, hey, uh, it looks like No Man's Sky does the thing that, uh... Um, all, like, new. That one uh, game that we played does, and uh, the the footage is completely unusable. Neato. Oh. You just check your old footage and it's all fucked up? No, it's my current footage It's all fucked up. Oh. oh. Is it saying, like, encoding overload or something? No. Oh. It's the same issue that I had with, um... What's it? Uh... Gang Beast. No, not Gang Beast. Um... Yeah, it is the same issue I had with Gang Beast, where it plays fine to me, it looks fine in OBS. Uh, but then on stream, it's like a stuttery shit burger. I think it's because the game's not optimized, so it's like robbing all of your co your, your computer's resources, including the ones that you normally use to. Oh, now record. it's saying the encoding is overloaded. Yeah, but I don't. I was noticing I don't know. that during. Let's, let's see if it just needs a, some time to like mellow out. You need to load stuff in the background or something. Yeah. I was noticing that during sure. Gang Beasts, and then that happened, and I'm noticing it a little bit now, too. Oh yeah, this game isn't optimized at all. No, I might just turn down all of its graphics settings so it doesn't fuck up everything. Ooh, damn. Uh, Ooh, damn. Yeah, I made that. It's mostly just a bunch of passed up. Well, your on, on. head is a ball of... Um, fun. Science? It's a ball of fun. Visually, ball this science. game's a bunch of pastel colors on Play-Doh Don't touch my anyway. ball. I will not touch your ball. Don't worry about it. Okay, why... What the fuck is up with these graphics settings? Uh, the one time I wish that the graph if they had like a profile like it's like like medium or something and just bump it down But no, I have to set every single one Max FPS is 60. Yeah. 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 Third person. How do I, I want right? this? I don't want this. I think that's what I have Let's just turn motion blur off All the way. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. Fuck that. Oh, do you have to hold it down? You can't just say no or zero. Yeah, you have to hold every day I hold it down. Restart yeah. required. Ah, oh, god damn it! Are you, for for mo for motion blur? Uh, for like a, yeah. a resolution change, I think. Oh my my max FPS was, else. Set to, was set to thirty. Yeah, so was mine. I changed it to sixty, but also ew. <sighs> Encoding. Oh, um, turning down video set. Jesus Christ! Why? Listen, it wants Where? all your computer. Where's my ship? Restart required take effect. Oh, that's really? it. That's it right there. When was this game made? <laughs> Alright. Quitting. <laughs> might as well do it now, I guess. Yeah, I, I mean, I might, might as well, because I need to restart the game. Yeah. Alright. 
for the desktop. Why so much hate for motion blur? We don't blur? have to quit, because do we? it exclusively makes everything look worse. Yeah, motion blur, like, as a setting, all it does is just blurs her shit up. Yeah. It's terrible. The only game, one of the only examples of decent motion blur, I think, is just when a game like, uh, a game like Dark Souls and a few other, like, third-person action games apply motion blur to people's movements. But that's just to make it so, you know, the movement looks more anime. <laughs> Just a motion blur to the visible thing moving. Yeah, there are to... there are some games when it's done well, but most games just kind of do this like weird blanket. Yeah, they and blur out looks... the whole screen. It looks so bad. Well, what yeah. happens? A lot of games have the a lot of the games. Your screen is being moved by your character movements or whatever, or it's even a first person game, and then they just blur all movement. So every time you look around, the entire screen blurs, and it looks terrible. I guess let me know when the server's up. Yeah, loading shaders. Um, didn't you, well, maybe I'm still in the server, question mark? No, 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 you're in the so, server, but you're not in my server. Yeah, server, so, basically. this game kind of has, like, this weird, persistent world for everybody, so any planet you've been to, your game kind of saves a snapshot of it, and it has drop in, drop out. So what you see is approximately what another player sees, but it's only synced up when you're both in the same area. So if Bird starts a server again, He'll you should be able to join me again, yeah. Yeah, oh, I'm, a, I'm still in the game. But uh, you're in, you're the, it's in like your instance of it rather than mine. All right, let's see if this helped. It doesn't look promising. Do we want to just do Dark Souls tonight then? I, I don't know. I guess but, so. I'll need to spend time off stream to fix yeah, this then. Yeah, shouldn't, it shouldn't take too long. That's, that's fine. There I was a yes. Let's give it another. No let's give another like three to five minutes just to see if. Uh, uh, the other off. thing to the other thing to test is uh, see if you can actually join me. I'm in the world though. He should be able to join me too. Oh yeah. Let's see if you can join off of Durf. Oh yeah, we can join off of Durf because uh, his world will be effectively my world. Yeah. All right. I can join through Steam, yeah? Yep. Uh, the main okay. menu is a join screen at least. Yep. All right, joining Durf with, oh, but look, the save is tied to your character, that's funky. Yeah. Yeah, oh, they yeah, don't They don't really... have like a master server. Uh, what is this, I, how do you save again? It's like you sit in your ship? Yeah, yep. you get out of your ship. Not you sit in your ship, you have right. to climb out of your ship to save. So that means, right, because there's the whole thing where when you first make your game you can't even save until you finish the whole like repairs uh now now you can just get in out of your ship but it doesn't do much for you bird catchers enter the system i forget how to craft stuff yeah let's see if maybe uh moving myself off of host will uh allow my computer to stop shitting itself to death it well no I'm it's still pretty shitty Let's see. Okay. I mean, we could do Dark Souls tonight. No, no. Hang on, hang on. Let's give another five <laughs> minutes. Uh, the other thing you could try is uh, restarting your computer. Because it worked yeah, flawlessly true. yesterday. It did, yeah. Oh, boy. This is a brutal spawn. There was an update for Windows, Steam, and No Man's Sky today, so we might wait a while for all that restart. That's true. Must get to Birdcatcher base before I die. <laughs> it looks... Um, if you can no. collect, uh, like, sodium or something, you can charge your, uh, your environmental stuff so that you can survive longer. You need oxygen I and... think this might have done the ticket. It's only dying on chunks, but it was always doing that. Like, on chunk boundaries, the game is just like... <laughs> I don't know. Let me know, chat. Let me know what you see, because uh, I'm kind of flying blind. But I think it's going better up until it stops. God damn it. Um. All right. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, I should probably go save. Where sodium shit. I'm gonna try lowering my bit rate slightly. Through, um, uh, I think if you and recording, press F, you might be able to look around and 
Nope. Here we can find some. I don't have any tools. I just spawned oh. into a I spawned into a hazard and I'm dying, but I <laughs> I can't find Keith? sodium to charge my my, my um, defense. You stay oh. in your ship. I don't Here, know. Keith, you, do, you press Keith, C do, to yeah. bring up the thing that will. Keith, let you do you find, want me to uh, just join uh, you and throw sodium at you? I don't have a scanner. Uh, oh. Keith, I'm just gonna join you and throw sodium at you so you don't die. Aren't we all in the same game? Yeah, no. you should be, uh, I don't see him in the in this world. Yeah, though. Uh, I think when Bird uh, bumped out, it um, uh, when Bird bumped out, you got shunted to your own session. You're in the same yep. location, but you're not actually there. I'll see if I can quickly just uh, dip by and oh. send you some sodium. You need uh, <laughs> okay, so you're you, you need the hazard probably going right? to die. Yeah, that's sodium. Yeah. Uh, probably should just leave and join Bird, I guess. And then also create a new file in the result because I haven't saved anyway. Yeah, that would work. Okay. Yeah. I am very dying. Yeah, that's, that's brutal. Yeah. That's yeah, brutal that's, uh, spawning. They, they actually, uh, so they did that intentionally with this game. Uh, mm -hmm. to teach you about hazard planets and hazards and whatnot. Uh, because yeah. it... It was not uncommon back when the game originally came out for people to be like, Yeah, I'm just gonna fly to this new planet. Oh shoot, I'm out of fuel. Oh shoot, this planet is killer. Alright, uh, so here's where I'm at. Uh, I can either, uh, reboot, and then we try No Man's Sky again. Actually, I mean, you all are playing. You can all play with each other while I like. Get yeah. Why don't you? Why don't you reboot? Give that a. See if it works. Yeah. Yeah. If that doesn't work, then um. Okay. Dark Souls. Be back in a bit. Yeah. That's uh. That's pretty much all I got. Okay. It looks like Durf is the de facto host now. So Keith, you should still be able to join off of me or him. You guys know how to, uh, get, get to am the crafting. A... Oh, hold on. So am I? A, am I on a different planet now? Uh, is it an icy planet? I don't see you in the session yet. Yeah, I don't either. I'm on like a... No, it looks like the same planet. It might be a different time of day now or something. It's like a poisony looking, like, mushroom tree planet. Oh, oh. That, uh, that's where we started. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that makes sense. He's in the same universe, but not on the same planet. Oh, did you guys already have time to leave the first planet? Yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. We might have to go back for him? Question yeah, mark? I could... I, I can go, uh, quote-unquote, rescue Keith. Just gotta scan a planet, uh, an animal. Do you guys remember what was yeah, sodium Sebastian on this planet? Yeah, Sebastian the system, I see that. You're uh, just, uh, it also, look for I... yellow flowers. Is there a first-person button? Because I, I hate third-person shooters. Press, uh, press Z. Uh, that's how you place a Oh, no, X. Cursor? X. Press X, go to the gear, and that's third-person. The gear? Uh, Q and E to change the thing. I think kind of makes it a little bit better, I guess. Here? Uh, so if you press X, there's a, there's a, like a, a bar menu. You press Q and E to go left and right on that menu. Oh, that was weird. For some reason, pressing X opened up the, the escape menu. <laughs> oh, oh. my. Oh, that, that is weird. All right, Keith. I'm just gonna come hang out uh, with you and just throw uh, go. sodium at you until you're not dead. Uh, wow, that is fast. Oh, this is uncomfortably fast. I love it. Your mods, oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, I got a new mod that made uh, that makes flying around on the pulse engine four times faster. Could go up to eight, but I figured that was a bad move. <laughs> I also made one so mining is like instantaneous now, which is awesome. Alright. Keeb. Keeb. How do you feel about the flash? There we go. That's better FOV. How do I feel about what? The flash. Uh, it's hindered by fucking shared universe garbage. <laughs> That's a fair assessment. Seriously, he got married in somebody else's show. That's bullshit. Uh, That's not how television's supposed is. to work. That's awkward. Yeah. 
There's like an episode of Supergirl or Arrow or something or some other show I don't watch. Five seasons of build up to a marriage that doesn't even happen on camera in that show. Hello. Whoop. Keith, Keith, don't move. Don't move. I got too far away. Ah, shit. I'm in a hole now. That's fine. Sodium nitrate. Keith. There you go. I am about okay, to die. Okay, do you guys uh, no, remember you're not. what it is? Keith, how, how just do you use the like, uh, main stuff. Use the sodium nitrate. Uh, in your inventory? Yeah. I press. Uh, click e to make cool. stuff. E to uh, carbon. But carbon. yeah, but how do I get there? What was I supposed to find on this planet that would make uh, me not die? Uh, sodium. You have sodium well, nit I, nitrate. No, I mean like, I mean like, how do I find it? Oh, F. F doesn't do anything. Uh, that's because you have to fix your uh, analysis monitor. Right. Well, I'm saying like they, they spawn you in a situation where you're gonna die in like 60 seconds. How are you well, supposed to not you die have... in 60 seconds? So one, you don't actually die when you run out of your environmental sheet shielding. Yeah, you start you... dying in toxic, which was happening yeah, but already. it like it does some like slow damage to you. But uh, in the time I gave it took you... for you to get to me, no, no, just Keith, now, I lost Keith, half Keith. my health. Keith, I gave you sodium nitrate. Use it to no, recharge your. No, I've hazard. used it. No, I'm talking about the game design. <laughs> Oh, well, okay. I'm I'm questioning the game and that it spawns you in a you're already dying of like it's like if Dark Souls you made a character and then you spawned in the poison swamp and there was poison swamp everywhere and you couldn't escape it. <laughs> That's and you have to fair. learn on the and you have to learn on the fly how, what poison moss is to cure your poison without knowing to look for it in the first place. I'm I'm just, all right, let's see. I just, I'm going to keep running around till I find any uh, sodium on this planet. Uh, here. So far, I still have it. Here, over here, Keith. Uh, come to me. Oh, no. is it the red thing? Oh, the no, it's the blue. yellow thing. Ah. It, they glow yellow. Uh, Wanderbot, what, what's the key that I uh, press to get to my inventory to actually craft the Tab. 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 That is the thing that I've been looking for. So, uh, it's kind of hard to see here. Let me chop down this tree. It's like this tiny it's, yellow one. There we yeah, go. Yeah, go up to oh, press, press E on it. Yeah, you press E. Uh, so most, uh, major, like, resources that you need actually glow. So, uh, carbon, carbon? Well, not carbon plants. Oxygen plants and sodium plants actually have, a uh, yellow or red glow. They should have designed it so that, like, one would pop up in your vision just kind of automatically so you know what to look for. That would have been smart. But Hello Games is... They're interesting. They're trial and error personified, which is interesting. I, Let's see. I, I don't... I don't want this. How do I stop doing this? Anything that I can build would be interesting around here. All right, dust. Oh. There's the scanner. Um. There we go. Yeah, Keith. Let me know if there's any resources that you need, like a quantity of, because I am, um, well. As per my usual, I've played ahead considerably, and I don't didn't feel like restarting. <laughs> so, I'm mostly here as as backup support while you guys catch up. You're gonna Fun. be. You might be in a perpetual state of just sort of waiting for us the whole playthrough if you do that. That's though. fine. That's fine. I mean, like I straight up am here just to make dumb jokes. Because the idea of having two concurrent. No Man's Sky, like, start-to-finish playthroughs is way less attractive than following you guys around uh, at <sighs> Seems high speeds. Yay! Did they ever add a reload button for anything? Uh, or do you manually sort of. click on the resource each time? Uh, you, uh, you... Well, you can just press, like, X, F, and then F or whatever it is, if that's what you mean. But there's no, like, easy reload now. Uh, what they did instead is they uh, they added mods that more or less crank up your uh, your uh, ammo count to the point where you don't run out very fast, so it's not so bad. 
Okay, so they made they made X default to kind of everything. Recharge meter. Oh, I'm wrong. This game is still shitting itself. Okay. Ah, must have well, been a patch. Hooray! I'll have to uh, look into this. Yeah. Shall we switch over to Dark Souls? Uh, I guess. Sure. Yeah, because Keith's... Uh, let's see. I think there's a save save location over next to this base. If you want to come over here, Keith. We'll um, just pick this up properly uh, tomorrow or something. Do allies show up in this game? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, I should be a colored hexagon with a person on it. Oh, there you are. Yep. Also, the dome over here is a functional base with a teleporter that I don't think you can use yet, but... Ooh, the flag. <laughs> I didn't make that. Why, that why is it telling me to build <clears throat> brain manipulator when I already have one? There. Oh, hey, that's enough my flags. The ship actually happens to be right here. Yep. Yeah, that's why um, I put the base here. Every person that joins Bird Session, as long as we're in the system, should spawn right here. Uh, it should work. How do you switch tools in your multi tool? Uh, let's see, G. G to switch tools. Alright, hopped out of the ship. Save. There we go. Alright, so we're switching to Dark Souls? Wow. Yeah, I think so. And Bird will Bird will figure uh, figure out what's, we'll have what's wrong with this game. So the terrain manipulator is just a giant shovel. Groundbreaking. Uh, basically. Mankind's third invention, the shovel. <laughs> Wait, third? Yeah, the first one was fire. The second one was poop. What? Wasn't it the wheel? <laughs> that, they got they got the fire fast. Yeah. Yeah. God damn. All right. Uh, fourth invention was burning the heretics that figured out how to poop. <laughs> <laughs> poop think, heresy. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. yep. People who pooped on this side of the riverbank as opposed to the other one. Heretics, oh, yeah. I say. 